Today I want to show you my favorite tool outside of a chainsaw for working with firewood. Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. For months my wife and I spent camping out on the property here. We had no running water, we had no house, we, I mean, we didn't have a bathroom, we didn't have anything other than chainsaws, a tent, and these kind of things. And then later we ended up stacking some of it with an excavator in this pile. Actually, we have two massive piles and they're just kind of dangerous. They're not a good situation. Uh, but at the time I didn't really think it through very well. And so now I'm going back and I have to kind of get this wood separated so that I can be cutting it and splitting it. And doing it by hand is nearly impossible. I would actually say impossible. Some of the logs I just can't move by hand, but using this thing has made it totally workable. The first option you have is really simply just the tool itself, which is a log hauler. And this is, it's really got a place uh, in a situation where maybe you're someone who struggled with back problems, you know, bending over, over and over, lifting up those logs, that, that downward motion. Now, we all know you should use your legs instead of using your back, but when you're, when you're lifting heavy logs or even just log after log after log, it, it can just happen where people hurt their back. But this is something where you can very simply reach down and it very easily picks up a log now, obviously you gotta use some upper body strength, your, really your biceps to lift that log up. Some of the bigger logs, really heavy logs, they're still very heavy. You're gonna to wanna to use two hands in that situation. Now, if you do struggle with back problems, I would suggest that you put it, you know, use one hand when you're using it for a while and then switch over to the other hand and you could do the same thing there because just working both sides of your body can help you have that balance there. Now, as far as the cant hook goes, this is how it is configured when it is a cant hook. And let me show you how easy it is to take it from the log hauler and turning it in the, into the cant hook. So you take the extension rod and then it has a cotter pin, also known as a hair pin, or some even call it a clevis pin. And you just remove that and you put it right through the handle. And then you put your cotter pin back in and as long as you're able to thread it right up on through, it's quite easy to do. And there, you pretty much have it. You're good to go. And this is just such a great tool. I mean, you probably have either used or have had or seen before a can hook. And this is something where you can really put some torque on a log that's on the ground, or in my case, in these massive piles. And you can put some torque on it that just bending over, you're just not able to do it. And so having a can hook, uh, obviously, this is not as long of a cant hook as maybe some of the standard or traditional wood handled or even maybe metal handled cant hooks for that matter, but I've still found it to be fantastic. And the quality just, you just, you're not afraid this thing is going to break. It is solid steel. It's, it's just, it feels great. And so that's not something I'm worried about, but this makes it, it has real two great options with a cant hook, a three really, obviously getting out of this crazy pile that I have. But secondarily, once it's on the ground, you can, you can roll these logs around where you need them to be. And then you cut down. And in a situation like this, you cut down the majority of the way through the log. Then once you've gotten, you know, that far down, you don't want to put your, the tip of your bar or your chain into the soil because once again, it's going to dull it. And in that situation, once you do, once you have all your pre-cuts made, then you can simply roll it over. You can use your cant hook. That makes for a real easy rollover to the other side. And then you just come through and you, and you can tap, tap it through and you end up, well, there you go. You've, you've saved your chain so that you don't have to, uh, so that you don't have to sharpen your chain as often. And then there's the timber jack option, which is, which is a great tool in general, I think of it, for some of the smaller pieces of wood. Let me show you simply how to turn your cant hook into the timber jack. So you take the jack stand itself, you pull out the cotter pins, and once you've done that, you simply insert the jack stand into the base of the cant hook. Obviously at that point, you just replace the cotter pins. The key is to make sure you got it in the right place. And once you do have it in the right place, it's really not rocket science, it's pretty simple. Now that took the whole sum total of about 30 seconds to put together and now you're ready to go. 
And the purpose of the timber jack is to raise the smaller logs off the ground on an angle. To be able to prop them up so that you don't bury the bar and chain into the ground and end up dulling your chain almost immediately. Typically you can buy a timber jack on its own, but then it's all alone. The great thing is you have all three in this. But having this for some of the smaller wood in that situation is absolutely perfect. One other thing that you can buy in, in a set or even on its own, you can buy this holster that goes in your belt. And what that does is it makes it so that you can, when you're put, using your log hauler, you can end up putting it right in there as you're maybe splitting your wood and that, that holds it in place. I didn't initially get one, and then as I was using it, I thought, you know what, man, I really should have gotten that. So I ended up ordering one of those. You can buy them as a set, and so that's a great way to do it. One other thing, as far as if you're using the holster, I would also suggest if you're doing it for many hours, for a while have it on one side of your body and then later on switch it to the other side. Once again, doing a repetitive thing like simply looking down like this, you may notice that you're looking down on that side and you feel that. And so switching to the other side will just once again work out muscles from both sides of the body. That's just a suggestion that as, as I was working with it, I thought, okay, that's, that's probably a good idea. And I'll have a link down in the description for them if you want to check it out, an affiliate link there. And I, I got to say, overall, once I have this thing, I wouldn't want to live without it. I mean, with, with the work that I do, we heat pr primarily with wood. I mean, 100% with wood when I'm home. Since I travel when we're gone, we, we do use the propane when we're away. But I, I wouldn't want to be without this thing. And it's something that feels like, uh, you know, if you have kids, like you could pass this thing down to your children. I mean, this just feels like such a solid tool. I love buying things that are made in America and you hardly ever are able to do that these days. And so when you can find something, you're supporting an American made product, which, you know, the three companies in the whole nation that actually create stuff in the United States, you just want to support one of those three, right? Um, once again, I'm exaggerating. There's more than three, but there aren't many anymore. And so I really appreciate having a tool like this. I ended up using it to, you know, wrench away, clear out some of the debris from the from the splitter, which you always have. And so there's three main options for it. There's the log hauler, there's the, the timber jack, and then you also have the cant hook. And so to me, this is, you know, it's not cheap, uh, you know, maybe a couple hundred bucks. Uh, if you buy the whole set with everything, maybe 300 bucks, but actually I think it's under 200 if you just buy this particular set here without the holster. There's also one other option that I don't have, and that's the Picaroon. That's something that you, if you buy the whole set, you get all of them together. So I, I, I think this is phenomenal. I think it'd make you know, a great gift. A husband would love having this if he's having to work out there all the time. These things are just fantastic. So I really can't, I can't even think of anything that I don't like about it. I mean, maybe I could say that, oh, the cant hook, if it had a longer handle, maybe that. But I, so far, I haven't had any trouble with that. But, I mean, sure, okay, you can always try to pick, nitpick things. But honestly, it's as, it's as close to a perfect product as I can think of. And maybe, maybe with a longer handle, it'd actually be annoying in certain situations. So it, it's nearly perfect as it is. So... Like I said, if you have any interest, check in the link below. If you have any questions, statements, or if you've had one, what do you think? What is your, what is your experience that you've had with the Log Ox? Love to hear. Well, God bless and have a fantastic day.